uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Japan because it is my favourite track on the calendar. Uh, we'll hope whatever happens, I just hope we have a clean race there. Alright everyone and welcome back to season 15 of LRF1 on Xbox One and we're here today for the 14th and penultimate round of the season United States Grand Prix in Austin and um, yeah we're here on our best qualifying lap and um, yeah this is a very unusual race actually compared to uh, sort of most races because there's only 10 people here it's like would you believe we normally have like really good attendance like you usually have 20 or very close to 20 drivers but through all, all sorts of reasons we've only got 10 people here tonight got about uh, six people missing I think just because uh, they couldn't make it because of holidays and stuff uh, that I knew about um, the reserve driver Wycons couldn't connect neither could Evo or Simon so they were gone as well from this race um, I don't know what happened to LGS and uh, Ghost because I'm pretty sure they were both uh, meant to be here and they weren't but yeah for some reason they didn't uh, turn up but uh, yeah Finn, Martin, Limitless, um, quite a few others, Drawmaster, Joe uh, and someone else, surprise, um, yeah they all couldn't make it so yeah it's um, a really low turnout and a very unusual one partly because of the Xbox issues as I said which stopped a few people from joining but uh, yeah a chance to finally score some points we haven't scored points for six races now and uh, yeah we want to make up for the bit of disappointment of Japan so um, yeah <laughs> we're ninth on the grid then first race and um, yeah we've got a quite a lot down in seventh Look, looking at this, I probably should not have set a time just because we were slow to the Oxar for We've got to start on those tyres now. And uh, I was not expecting to be starting on my race tyres. For all my practice, I was not expecting to be starting on my race tyres. So, um, yeah, we got we got that to deal with. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll have to see what we can do then. Tyrewell wasn't really too great for me here, I have to say, like in practice. So, we'll have to see how we can do then. As we're on the grid now, then lights are coming on now, and away we go. And it is a decent start then for a ninth on the grid. And uh, we'll see if we can get any place in turn one. We go running outside here, a uh, lockdown breaking very early there. I was almost caught out, but uh, yeah, we managed to run run outside then. And we're going to have the inside line for turn two then on P1R Brown. And look at that, and three places gained off the start. We're up to sixth place, and yeah, we don't often see that as well when there haven't been any pit stops in effect or anything so um yeah we're up into uh, a legitimate sixth place at the moment then so uh, that's nice and um yeah it could even be more there as we see um we've got very close there between rossberg pinecone and leopard but uh, yeah we're still in sixth place for the time being then but it looks like brown's going to pass us then into this um left hander i can't remember what all the four numbers around here are so um yeah sorry about that i really should one of these days from over to actually like research this beforehand but uh, yeah we're going side by side then down this long back straight and um, yeah we're going to break as late as we can then but he's going to stay on the inside though and uh, yeah we're going to get a good drive out of the corner and get the uh, inside line for this next right hander but uh, yeah he is still side by side then he'll have the inside for the next one and uh, on the brakes we'll try and go as late as we can but he dives at the inside and it looks like he has managed to hold the position for now then so back down the seventh, but still a pretty good start from us there to gain a couple of positions. And uh, yeah, as long as we get to the finish today, we are finally going to end this streak of pointless races. 
as uh, we've had a thing by it there into turn one on lap five. All still very close here then in this front group. As we see Pinecon and Leopard battling it out for fourth place up in front of us, and that's really allowing us to sort of stick right with this group at the moment because they're sort of slowing each other up and uh, sort of back in uh, Brown into us as well. And we've got lockdown right behind us, and uh, Reynolds, who was the only person not to qualify, that was probably the smart decision really because he's not on fresh soft tyres and he can just sit on the back of this train and uh, yeah, let his race unfold from there. As uh, we had a bad run out of that um, chicane, we lost the back end on the kerb, and yeah, lockdown got a very good run on the turn, and um, yeah, he managed to get through. We're going to have DRS, but so is he. Uh, we're in the search stream, we'll see if we can get him back then. He is covering the inside line, we'll try and go side by side, but uh, yeah, we don't really want to <laughs> risk a collision when it's probably the best chance we're going to get to score a double points finish then, which we have managed to do uh, yet this season. And uh, yeah, lockdown maintains seventh position there as we we're already starting to struggle a bit on the rear tyres there. Um, on to lap six then, and Brown has lost the back end there through the S's, and that moves back up then into seventh place. And um, uh, yeah, a lot of sliding still going on then. As I was saying, tyre wear really was a problem for me here. Uh, it's not often a problem, but uh, yeah, this certainly was one of the tracks where it was. And uh, Brown actually pits before us then. I guess not really a surprise given that he did have that off there. Probably didn't help his tire wear much. He also had left it in before us, so they're probably going to get a nice undercut. I was hoping lockdown wouldn't pit here, and uh, I was very glad to see that he didn't because I really felt like I had to come in and get rid of those tires at that point. And uh, Reynolds was uh, really sort of starting to come into it on those soft tires, so uh, yeah, I was glad that sort of lockdown left the pit lane uh, sort of free for us there to come in. and. Um, yeah, we're going to come in then for the soft tyres. Uh, we may even get an undercut on some people as well. But I think uh, Brown is probably going to have overtaken us then. And um, uh, yeah, Brown is going to go through then. And uh, yeah, we've been battling him here then in this race for a higher position than we were in F2 last season. Because I remember last season we both had like a really disastrous race. And we were battling for like 9th or 10th place or something. So we've actually ended up in a higher position in the top tier. So... It's a bit weird there, as we do indeed uh, undercut our teammate then as the uh, the streamer loses connection to the uh, lobby, so that just shows you what, like the problems that are going on with Xbox and this game uh, during the race, but um, I think they rejoined eventually, and uh, Rosberg then, who was third I think, uh, still out a few laps later, and that is just how powerful the undercut is, because he's come out down in ninth position, would you believe? As um, yeah, later on in the lap, then we've got locked down catching up to us. But I just noticed there a red X appeared by his name as we were looking behind, and uh, uh, yeah, that doesn't read really both well, especially as he was the host of this lobby. And in fact, he has disconnected, so uh, yeah, big shame. Then, then that is the uh, Sauber double points then out the window because even if your ghost car goes round, you can't sort of claim the points for it, unfortunately. And um, yeah, that is him out of the race then. And uh, yeah, on the next lap, then Rosberg on the uh, fresher tyres, and well, he's just quicker than us in general, uh, manages to catch up to us then. And we're side by side then through this long right hander, and he is going to go through, and he's going to be inside line for the uh, penultimate corner. And through he goes. I probably left my nose in there a little bit too long, uh, in fairness, but uh, yeah, he's through then into a seventh position. And uh, yeah, it's just now Reynolds to pit then, and that was a nice strategy from him there. And I think it, that was probably the, he was the smartest one of all of us, really, especially those of us who are probably going to be qualifying down the back. I, I really regret not doing that, to be fair. Although, you know, I was happy with whatever points I got ready because I was just sort of desperate to score some points. But I think looking back, I was probably better off not setting a time, to be fair. As, uh, yeah, he catches us very quickly then, as you would expect. And, um, yeah, once again, there maybe he should have. Um, well, to be fair, I didn't really, really know what else I could have done there, to be fair. We got run out of road a little bit, but, I mean, you know, he was a lot quicker than this, and he was always going to get that move done there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, on lap 24, Brown had an instant, I think, with Rosberg, and he spun out again. So that allows us to move back up into 7th position, and, um, uh, yeah, that's a place game for us then, as we sort of did, really didn't have any pace at all on the uh, soft tyres compared to the others. We were sort of sticking with the others on the ultras, but on the softs, we were really struggling, and look at the tyre where... We're into puncture range here, but um, yeah, it's definitely will be seventh place. But there's all, all sorts of penalties to work out. I, I had one, but uh, we'll see 
what happened with all the others then. So we cross tight in seventh place and we jump Reynolds, but um, yeah, Brown jumps us there and doesn't get any penalty, so uh, we stay seventh then and uh, those positions swap round. But um, yeah, I have to say, very impressive there for Danny and Brown to not get any penalties because I think this is probably the track that's sort of easiest to get penalties. Uh, so for them to not get any is very impressive. But it's Leopard then who takes his second win of the season, so uh, you get well into him for that one then. Danny in second and Pinecone in third, but for us, that's our best result of the season. Um, not the way I want to get it, of course, because, you know, there's half the grid missing, but um, yeah, we've had some really, like, rotten luck in Sydney in Japan, and um, yeah, we've made a few mistakes, but we've also been quite up in some since our reading, I think, were our fault at times. So, um, yeah, I feel like we were sort of due a, like, a good result at some point however it came to us and um, yeah that was our best result of the season and it actually doubles our points tally for the uh, uh, season as well then uh, rough on to 12 points and we've overtaken Joe who was one of the people who couldn't make it today well for this race so um, yeah going into the final race then in Brazil um, we'll see I'm trying to think now if there's any more places we could gain well, if there's people who couldn't make it but uh, you'll be able to see on the screen if there is, but uh, yeah, I'll be just hoping to maybe round out the season then with another points finish. But um, yeah, I guess it depends who's here and who's not, I guess. So um, yeah, that'll be the final league race on F1 2017. So uh, yeah, look out for that one then. And then I'm not sure what's going to happen after that because I imagine there's going to be a bit of a break between the end of season 15 and the start of season 16. Because we have to see if uh, Codemars has made a working game, but you know, I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. Uh, so yeah, join us then for the next, well for the final race then next week, and thanks for watching this one, I'll see you then, goodbye.